Mercedes-Benz vans are widely regarded as the industry's most productive cargo and passenger vans. If you're looking for a commercial van that will increase productivity, look no further than a Mercedes-Benz van. There are currently two variations produced by the giant German automaker the cargo vans and the passenger vans. Mercedes provides 21 different models of the Sprinter cargo van and 10 different types of the Sprinter passenger van. It is also the only vehicle in the full-size van category to be equipped with four-wheel drive, making it a popular choice among adventurers, as well as companies operating in snowy regions. It is available with three different engines, including a V6 diesel that produces a significant 325 lbft of torque. The biggest version of the van is equipped with a dually rear axle for maximum carrying capacity. This type, as well as others, has become more popular for RV conversions. Besides having the ability to tow a maximum of 5,000 pounds, the Mercedes-Benz 2020 Sprinter also has the greatest payload capabilities in the class, as well as the most comprehensive set of active safety systems and driver aids. Are you interested in learning more about the features and price of these two Mercedes-Benz vans? Then stick around till the end of this video. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. The Mercedes-Benz Sprinter full-size van is a real jack-of-all-trades, thanks to its many safety features and configuration options, which include diesel power and four-wheel drive. Mercedes-Benz expanded the availability of safety features on the Sprinter van in 2020, adding to the vehicle's already extensive range of active technology-based driving aids. With the addition of rear cross-traffic alert, parking assists with a rear-view camera, drive-away assist, active lane-keeping assist, active cruise control with distance assist, active braking assist, downhill speed regulation, a new windshield wiper cleaning system, blind spot assist, trailer stability assist, and a revised crosswind assist system, the Sprinter is indeed equipped with a variety of features. Also, a diesel four-cylinder engine is currently on the market. The payload capacity of the cargo version of the Mercedes-Benz vans, with its gas-powered four-cylinder engine, varies from 3854 pounds for the regular roof 1500 model to 6735 pounds for the 4500 version the sprinter 3500 xd versions have a towing capacity of 5404 pounds whereas the sprinter 2500 passenger has a towing capacity of 3441 pounds because it is classified as a van the Environmental Protection Agency EPA, does not provide official gas mileage estimates for the 2020 Mercedes-Benz vans. However, independent sources estimate that the Sprinter will achieve an average combined mileage of between 17 and 19 miles per gallon. According to the manufacturer, the Sprinter passenger van should have an estimated range of between 396 and 441 miles when fitted with a 24.5-gallon fuel tank in the six-cylinder van and a 22-gallon fuel tank in the four-cylinder SWB van. The comfort and elegance of the 2020 Mercedes Sprinter are the most significant reasons it is so popular. Its interior has a luxurious feel to it, and it is relatively quiet on the road. SWB vans have seats for 12 people, while LWB vans have space for 15 people. The driver and front passenger will have no complaints about the 56.4-inch headroom and 38.9-inch legroom in this vehicle. There's also 67.4 inches of shoulder space and 63.7 inches of hip room available in this model. The Sprinter passenger van will comfortably accommodate the number of adults assigned to it, with enough space to spare. The 2500 trim van features a four-seater bench in the third row that provides adequate room for smaller adults, and a three-seater bench in the front and second rows of the van. Cargo variants have as much as 524 cubic feet of storage capacity available. According to the manufacturer, that's more space than some New York City residences, and more space than you'll find in the Ford Transit's biggest model. Entry and exit from the Sprinter's rear compartment are possible by way of a big sliding door on the passenger side, but a driver's side door may also be selected if desired. There is an optional motorized sliding door on the right-hand side of the vehicle that has a soft closing function and is available as an option. When it comes to this class, in-cabin information and entertainment systems are seldom a top concern, which is why Mercedes maintains the best systems as optional extras. 
There is a standard AM slash FM radio with a tiny LCD screen, Bluetooth, and a single USB-C connector as part of the base audio system, while both the Premium and Premium Plus packages feature an upgraded system with a 7.0-inch touchscreen, the Premium Plus package adds a 10.25-inch screen which is the biggest in its class, navigation, and a wireless phone charging pad. Onboard Wi-Fi, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto are not accessible, which is a little disappointing in a car that costs as much as this one does. With so many models and pricing points to choose from, your budget and requirements should determine which Sprinter van is the best fit for your company or individual requirements. Saving some money for the option packages that incorporate the van's newly available safety features, on the other hand, is most prudent. The most significant options are the $733 parking package, which includes a 360-degree camera, and the $1,250 premium package, which adds active braking assist and active lane keep assist, among other features. The blind spot assist feature is included in the $1,250 driver convenience package. And that's it for the Mercedes-Benz Vans 2020. Do you think it's reasonably priced for the features that it possesses? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comment section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.